Hey Pitmasters, what is up? Today we're going to be grilling a beautiful tri-tip. Look at this beautiful tri-tip that we've got here. 100 days grain fed. And I can already see there's a lot of marbling in between that meat. So we'll take some of this fat off, slice it into, into steaks and start grilling it. But before we do that, we're going to fire up the barbecue. We still have some hot embers in our grill from the last cook. We're going to take the grill grate out, put in some new charcoal and then crank up the heat. Meanwhile at HQ, I just want to clean our tri-tip up just a little bit and maybe expose the meat a little bit more to the fire. As you can see, the tri-tip actually consists of three parts. That's why it's called a tri-tip. You have a part where the direction of the grain of the meat runs in this direction. And then there's this part where the grains run in this direction. And then there's the tip where actually they run in that direction. So this is what you take into consideration when you slice into your meat. For now, we'll just clean it up. Charcoal's hot. Steak is uh, trimmed. Just need to put on salt, pepper. Um, but we're going to slice it up first. I want, I'm going to do this Brazilian style. Look at these skewers. They're cool, right? So the way that we're going to cut this steak is follow the grain. We'll make an incision here. There we go. And we'll make one here in the end. Look at the marbling that we've got on here. Beautiful. Doesn't this remind you of something? Picanha? That's it. Look at it. It looks like picanha, right? Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful steaks. So why don't you use picanha? Well, this has cost 20 euros less than picanha. The marbling on this is absolutely fantastic and even better than on the picanha. So why not? Now put the tri-tip onto the skewer, Brazilian style. It basically means we're going to skewer it on like this. It's not through the fat. We need it to go through the fat. Just to make sure it's completely skewered. Look at that. Put a small one on here just to finish it off. There we go. This is how they do the kind of, right? Yeah, this is how they grill picanha in Brazil. And uh, why not grill tri-tip in the same way? This is like, uh, to me, it totally makes sense. You got a beautiful cut, you got beautiful marbling, a lot of fat, a lot of flavor. It's super, super cheap compared to picanha in the Netherlands. So th to me, this totally is the best way to go. Look, this is my new bucket of salt. This is pyramid shaped salt flakes. We'll put a lot of salt on this fat cap. The salt will help to crispen up the fat as it renders down. Now it can go on the grill. What I'm looking for is I want to render down the fat. And at the same time, I want to get the outside of the meat nice and crispy, but I don't want to have too many flare ups to the point where we get that burned fat on our meat. We're making sure our meat is okay and it doesn't cook up too fast. And in the meantime, we're going to start preparing our salsa chimichurri style sauce that we're going to add to our meat. First, we're going to chop fine two onions. We'll peel and chop fine two garlic cloves. Now we'll take our hot pan and put the trimmings from our beef in. We've rendered down the fat from our beef, which we're now gonna use for our sauce. So we'll take out the leftover bits, put the pan back on the stove, Put the onions in, put the garlic in, and let the onions and garlic turn soft. Now let's quickly check on our meat. You can see that the fat has crispened up. We got a nice crust on our meat, so we can take it off now. Just gonna set it aside on our cutting board. We'll let it rest there. I want to transfer my pan over to the grill because it's really, really hot. So we'll put the grill grate on. We'll put a pan on and let it come up to temperature. We're going to chop fine three of these sun-dried paprikas. Add them to the pan. Next up, I'm going to add some fresh herbs. I got some parsley, I got some chives and a bit of sage. I'm going to chop that really, really fine and put all of it in there. Next up, we'll add some pomodoro. I'm 
two pinches of salt, fresh ground pepper, some garlic and chili pepper oil, some white wine vinegar, and a tablespoon of chipotle sauce. Stir that up. We don't want to actually cook this sauce, we just want to bring it up to the boil. Our beautiful sauce is done. So, is this a chimichurri? Uh, no, it's, traditionally it's not a chimichurri. Chimichurri is not boiled, it's like fresh ingredients put together. But, it has that chimichurri style of flavor. It has a lot of acidity. So there's a good comparison there, but this is kind of like my style chimichurri. Now in traditional Bastillian style, we're gonna slice our, well not picanha, we're gonna slice our tri-tip. Look at that. You see how good that looks? The crows are coming in. Let's give this one a try. Mm. Mm. Beautiful beef. Every now and then there's a little bit that falls off. Hmm. That's for the pit master. Of course we have to try this with our sauce. There we go. I like how that warm pomodori and chili, it, you know, it's like a chimichurri on its own. It's like a whole different sauce, but it tastes so good. I'll be in trouble if I give it too little. There you go. It's a balance, right? You have meat that's fatty and crispy on the outside, then you got the sauce that's just creamy and rich from the oil, but at the same time, it's got a little bit of spiciness and the sour and the saltiness. Man, this is fantastic. And I got the perfect thing to go with it. A loaf of bread, that's it. And we'll put some sauce over that meat. It goes perfect with our beef. Now that I know this is not traditional chimichurri and I know this is not the traditional picanha, but still I cooked it in the way that they cook picanha in Brazil. That is the cool thing, it's a technique that you use and it is like styles and influences that you use to create something new. And that's the cool thing about this dish. Mm. I would love to know if you guys are going to use this technique outside of grilling picanha and the chimichurri sauce, if you're gonna mix it up, make it your own. I would love to know about that, so leave me a comment down below, give me a big thumbs up while you're down there, and I wanna say a big thank you to all our patrons and YouTube members. See you guys in the next video. Until then, it's makkelijk and keep on grilling.